I'm Peter Block here at TCT in Denver, Colorado for On The Scene, and with me is Jelmar Westra from Denmark. And Jelmar has done an interesting study on the physiologic testing of coronary disease, a very interesting concept where you don't need wires and you don't need adenosine. So Jelmar, tell me about the concept and then about the trial. Yeah, so the concept is named a QFR, quantitative flow ratio. It's based on three-dimensional reconstruction of coronary arteries and computational uh, fluid equations. So and, and you could do this through CT, or how do you do that? It's, it's based on angiography. So invasive angiographies, you need two projections to create your three-dimensional reconstruction, and then you can simulate FFR. Okay. So it is a non-invasive FFR, if you will, although the angiography is still invasive. Yes, so you don't need adenosine and you don't need the pressure wires. That's the concept. Okay. So tell me about your trial. What did you find in the trial? Yes, yeah, so this was an international multicenter trial um, on the in-procedure feasibility of this new modality QFR. So in 11 centers, we did pair assessments of FFR, the gold standard, QFR, and 2D QCA. So the primary endpoint was that, the, and the hypothesis was that QFR has a superior sensitivity and specificity compared to conventional 2D QCA when we use FFR's reference standard. So what do you think this means? I mean, for underdeveloped countries who don't have a lot of cash for wires and so forth, this is a huge plus, isn't it? Exactly. Um, this could broaden the access to physiological lesion assessment in, in these areas, as you mentioned, because our results uh, actually show that we are able to um, co correspond to the FFR binary classification in 88% of the cases, so the accuracy is 88%. And the sensitivity in this study was superior to 2D QCA as well as the specificity also of 88%. How long does it take to do this? Well, that was actually a secondary endpoint. So we measured the time to completed QFR and the time to completed FFR, uh, to measured FFR. We found that QFR took 4.8 minutes and FFR 7 minutes. So it was statistically significant faster than conventional FFR measurements because it's not just put the wire in and start the denison. Sometimes you have tortuous vessels and so on. And this QFR modality, you just need your two projections and then you're good to go. Sounds fascinating to me. What's the name of the trial again? It's the Favor 2 Europe Japan study. Okay, there you go. So look that trial up. This is going to be, I think, a very special way and probably a very important way to do physiologic testing. Thank you.